every indian is today concerned about the current status of the indian society the indian society is now drifting towards westernization massive westernization is taking place there is constant erosion of indian values youth of today are not able to have attachment to indian values they start visualizing their future in western society and they aspire to work with the multinational companies or with those companies which are based in western countries this is something dangerous because indian culture and heritage and indian values have given so much to the world that we cannot imagine and it is truly the best model for sustainable development and if we will lose it it's not lost to the indian country, subcontinent it's a loss to the entire world india alone can live those values which we have lived for 5000 years now these values the culture the rituals the practices we are losing them and we are ourselves responsible for this loss because in our education system we have not been able to emphasize them we have not been able to incorporate them the family system has changed earlier we had joint families now we have nucleus families and the transition of values the transition of culture from one generation to second generation to third generation has stopped at a point where families have now divided into small nucleus families this is truly dangerous indian culture and values is a heritage for the entire world because it is based on the fundamental ideas of vasudhaiva kutumbakam that is the entire world is ours indian culture and values have given so much of emphasis on non violence coherence tolerance that we cannot explain these thing it is something that if you live in you can understand in metro cities the indian culture and values have already completely eroded but indian culture and values still survive in rural areas rural pockets but what we are doing in our education system we have not included any substantial inputs so that the students are connected to rural india what we are educating them is relevant to large companies multinational companies not to rural india a student who is doing let's say bcom program is reading from the day one how to issue debentures what would be general entry of debenture entry debenture redemption reserve fund bank reconciliation statement probably he will never use these things in his life never he is never going to prepare a debenture redemption fund he is never going to prepare bank reconciliation statement but that is what we have included in our curriculum the student is devoting his entire time and energy in learning these things a rural person who is living in uh, who wants to become an entrepreneur in rural area will have very limited choices he can go for entrepreneurship with regards to indian systems like herbal growing herbal products preparing herbal products rural handicrafts rural products dairying etc these things can very well be incorporated in our education system without much investments we can set up colleges schools institutions institutions of higher education in rural areas which can be connected to these small cottage industries and they can easily train youth now these industries are such where there will never be anything like competition there never will be anything like oversupply dairies for example even if every farmer in india 
is setting up his dairy, there will be no problem. We are not going to face any problem as such. There is nothing like oversupply. We will have more milk. It is not going to cause any problem. Similarly, the herbal based products, Indian traditional knowledge based products, we can have thousands of industries, millions of industries. What's the problem? If we are able to have more production, we can supply them across the globe. But our failure is the failure at the level of top management the top planning, those people who are sitting at the top, they have been oriented by Western education and they think the ideal mode of living, ideal mode of uh, development is that which is being followed by the Western countries. Therefore, they think about smart cities, they think about uh, development which is purely based on Western perspective, they are not able to focus on development which is there possible in Indian subcontinent using the grassroots technology. Probably there is again a need that everybody must understand and everybody must read the literature of Mahatma Gandhiji. Mahatma Gandhiji has given us the path of Gram Swaraj. We must again read it. We must try to use latest technologies in rural development and must change our curriculum because it is our curriculum that is going to shape our future. What we are going to train our youth today will decide our future. We are today training, developing and transforming our youth for multinational companies. They are being trained for multinational companies. Their vision is to serve the multinational companies. The brightest students are picked up, trained, developed and pushed into IITs or other institutions who generally prepare them for a career in multinational companies. Is it going to serve the Indian subcontinent? What we require is focus on Indian rural entrepreneurship. We have to help Indian farmers, Indian rural entrepreneurs. We have to instill a new culture wherein we respect Indian values, we respect Indian ethos and incorporate that. When I was studying in college, we used to have a paper. The name of the paper was History of Indian Culture and Civilization. It was only one paper out of so many papers that I studied which was focusing on Indian culture and values. And I believe that culture, that paper did not have much marks in it. It was a very uh, small print paper. But it was able to create the desired impact. I am still able to remember that those things and that have helped me in understanding Indian culture and values. Now even that has gone. We have, the educated people have massively adopted westernization when it is not required. For example, we are massively adopting all those dress, etiquettes, behavior pattern language, everything from the Western society. We must constantly learn from each other. There is nothing wrong. But if something is great in our heritage, why should we leave it? And if we will leave it, it's a crime because the world is not going to get it again. Once our generation passes away, the next generation will not have any access to the great Indian culture and values they will not be able to take a dip into the spiritual ethos that we have lived and that will be a great loss to the entire world. We must first of all change our education system. We must start focusing on rural institutions, rural technologies, rural entrepreneurship, revisit curriculum. We must build pride in being Indian and we must develop new systems, new institutions which can help youth in learning Indian culture and learning Indian values. This is the necessity for the entire world. The world can learn a lot from Indian culture and values. Today the world has realized what a great thing in the form of yoga. They are appreciating yoga. But yoga is just one part of the Indian culture. 
if you try to learn yoga without indian culture it is not going to work it's just one part of indian culture so you have to understand the totality you have to appreciate the entire system you must appreciate indian medical system indian medicine system that is ayurveda you must understand and appreciate indian education system that is gurukul based system which is truly based on a great learning system there is personal relationship between teacher and student this is a feeling of devotion in the minds of the students teacher is also concerned not only about imparting skills but about imparting culture imparting values and imparting character these things are really essential for our generation and for next generation similarly the indian system of various rituals these rituals are very important very very vital we may not be able to understand and appreciate their role but we will realize their role once we have lost them so we must all get together and start trying to protect promote and develop the great indian culture and values because if we will not protect them who is going to protect them from pre school to higher education we have to incorporate indian culture and values everywhere i am not in particular favor of uh, pre schools but then this is there in modern times but it we must try to see that the pre school system onwards the children are oriented about indian culture and values this is necessity similarly we must again promote entrepreneurship and social entrepreneurship now today entire world is talking about social entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship we were living it for generations social entrepreneurship is something which we have been practicing for generations for times immemorial now people in indian culture have valued social entrepreneurship always community entrepreneurship every community collects small money from each individual in the community and use that money for the development of the community this is great we used to have such wonderful traditions the mohalla system the uh, in rajasthan we used to call gwad the gwad is a type of mohalla it in every gwad or mohalla or you can say a ward would decide its code of conduct would decide how it is going to impose its norms would decide certain guidelines for discipline and people will follow it and these norms these guidelines were such that they were very carefully planned and very carefully designed so that people were able to live a better life now these things are vanishing slowly and slowly we will be losing a great heritage and therefore let's unite together let's start promoting indian culture and values yoga meditation they should be part of all our curricula whether at school level or at higher education level when we are starting a college school or education institution the first thing that we should have is yoga meditation spiritual orientation stories of great indian leaders who have tried to protect who have tried to promote indian culture and values and who have given us ideals of how life should be led if you start telling those stories to the youth the youth will be able to mold itself so we must again start working in these directions